it is 7 56 in the morning i have a lot to get done it is a thursday and i need to have everything packed by saturday i haven't packed a single thing i haven't packed a single item not even a spoon nothing nada so i don't know what this video is going to be today i'm actually kind of behind on uploading real-time videos which is why instagram stays lit i feel like instagram just knows everything that's going on in real time when it's all going down sorry i had to take my car mount off of the windshield because i'm going to go get a car wash first today i don't know what video is going up but i'm sure my announcement video of me moving home <laughs> Is already up on the YouTube by the time this is up everything is kind of out of order guys my life is out of order right now please be gentle with me I feel like March has been vlogmas in the sense that I've been going ham and cheese with uploading videos very consistently keeping you guys as updated with this moving process up and down what is Kayla gonna do like I literally haven't been able to decide what to do like I've been deciding as I've been posting like what my life plan is currently for 2021 so shout out to you guys for being here along the journey and getting involved in the comments and being as curious and understanding and patient with the videos and everything else. It's just a lot trying to balance planning a road trip, booking storage, booking a U-Haul, making sure that I have my moving supplies, packing up everything for storage while also packing stuff for a road trip and also packing stuff that I'm taking with me to Virginia. Like I have to get very organized and decide what I need to take with me and what just needs to stay here in LA. Like LA is my home, you guys. Like I'm a resident here, my business is here, my ID, like I'm just a Cali girl, right? So I mean, I'm always gonna have a home here. Just right now I don't have a home, I'm homeless. So <laughs> shout out my mom and dad for letting me crash. Um, and opening their doors they've actually told me to do this last year come home for a while i'll drive out there and go get you like my dad was saying all this in the pandemic and i was like no 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 i got this i'm a big girl <laughs> my leo and me not ever wanting help from people but always wanting to help people like that's just how i am shout out the impasse but um, I guess like now is the perfect time because my lease is up and I'm the type that doesn't like to waste money I'm paying thousands of dollars every month for rent. What's the point of leaving if you're not going to be there? So now that I don't have any Like huge expenses out here like why not be a free bird? And um, Sorry my camera rattles against the windshield so Jesus um so yeah this really is just divine timing i feel like doing its job and the fact is my job is very remote there's no events going on hasn't been any events there's really no point in me being here i can work actually, i actually feel like i have more content that i can create back home at least for a temporary time it's gonna give me that creative space i feel like i need my god this is gonna piss me off trying to edit this video with a freaking rattling sound well, guys i'm stressed let me just pull over this is like my dream neighborhood i love it see if i can put this back on i really want to have a chat with you guys i'm trying to multitask my life look at this view Yes, sir. This is what I love the most about LA. This is why I love it so much. All the palm trees. Um, actually, you know what? I can just sit here and chat with you guys. So I don't know where I started or left off my conversation. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be in Virginia. I don't have a plan. I think I'm just going to be there until my heart is full and i get to spend that quality time with my parents they're all spread out throughout like virginia like my grandparents and stuff so i want to make sure that i can spend proper time with them and go with the flow i mean i don't i've never ever had this where i never paid rent guys i've been paying rent since i was 20 years old like every single month so 
I don't know it's gonna be weird not having that obligation but in a good way I guess I don't know like I'm just gonna be going with the flow and the cool thing about the East Coast that I like is the states are so close together so I'm hoping that maybe I can take a trip or two to a new place a new city see some things do some things take you guys with me and see if I can do it in a safe way I don't know how that's going to work or how my family will feel because I'm staying with them right so that's another thing giving up all your freedom to stay with your family like oh girl how am I gonna survive yeah, it might be back sooner than I thought. <laughs> I don't know. I love my family so much, but I like my life by myself. Like, I just love being by myself in my own company. So, yeah. Anyway, that's just, like, my plan right now. I guess maybe this is the announcement video. I don't know. I haven't filmed it. Like, I just i am so frazzled trying to prepare for this move. And then also trying to keep content going for you guys. Keep you guys updated along the way. And have some order to this chaos but y'all it's been hard it's been very hard and i've only looked at one apartment so i took you guys apartment hunting with me i probably shouldn't be sitting here because that cop is like posted up anyway i'm just gonna forget about that and finish my job for two seconds right now um what was i talking about i don't remember guys let me drink my coffee hold on bear with me today yeah it's just been a lot trying to balance everything and keep it orderly and be productive and have like every the chaos organized i guess essentially so what i was saying was i only looked at that one apartment that i took you guys to and i looked online and maybe like a couple years ago before i'd moved i looked at another building and i liked it but i don't know how it looks now and i don't really want to waste my little bit of time which is my fault you know going to go see this place but i had to go look at apartments because when i move back i have to have a place to live right can't just move back and be homeless so i have to have my options and at least know a building that i want to move into to make the moving process remote like be able to just lease a unit from the east coast get everything organized sign the lease and then move back you know so that's why i needed to find an apartment and it's just been a lot because there's a lot of pressure on me and i've literally been doing this entire thing all by myself which love adulting you know i have just prepared my entire life for this moment as much as i have moved but i've never done like a cross country road trip so we're trying to plan where we're going to stop and if we're going to stop my dad and i are going to obviously switch off driving and i don't drive at night just because my vision is trash and that's just because of my eye surgery that i had so i can drive during the day my dad obviously wants to be the one driving the most because he doesn't like other people driving him which is good for me but being in a car for that long low-key anxiety especially driving through places that i've never been like in the south like i don't know maybe i'm overthinking things i don't know am i overthinking things it's just a lot to think about plan for and i know it's gonna be fun i've never done a road trip before so i'm super excited about it that's why i got my car serviced i've been preparing for this you know all month long behind the scenes without giving too much away too soon so sorry about it but I've just been trying to do everything that I can to not be so stressed out and then I ordered off of Amazon a dog car seat for Leroy and I'm gonna put it in the car once I get it washed I wanted to get my car washed a little bit sooner so I can enjoy a clean car before it gets destroyed okay so I'm gonna strap that in and figure out how to buckle it and figure out how much space ideally I have in my car once I put the seats down so that way I can plan how much to pack because I'm not bringing my whole life you know just the essentials maybe my crystals I don't know so I need to make my list for that um, and go get some snacks like road trip snacks that are healthy because your girl's not going to be eating at 7-eleven or the gas station i cannot be off track too much i know that's going to be hard not tracking and eating proper meals 
scheduled and also i pee so much you guys like i'm also very nervous about having to stop every 15 minutes like literally i pee every 15 minutes so i was debating do i need to go buy this device on amazon for women it literally is like a cone for you to pee on the side of the street so i'm like do i need to get this like i'm just like overthinking every little detail and that's just me that's like my personality that's my virgo rising having to literally overthink everything analyze okay how's this gonna go what's gonna happen here like it's a lot you guys so i just need to mentally ground myself and not overthink i know it's easier said than done but that's my current life right now and i guess this is the announcement video i was planning on doing a proper one once i pick up my dad from the airport but I got too many videos to edit and it's gonna be too delayed by the time I do that when he does fly in so fingers crossed I'm also hoping that he flies in safely you know I know he's a little bit nervous about that with everything going on so that's also in the back of my head and it's just a lot to think about right now so send us love and wish us safe travels just very 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 terrified i don't know of just long drives like that and there's a reason for it i don't like <clears throat> i don't know why this video is becoming a life story but those tractor trailer trucks i guess is what they're 16 whatever they are those big massive trucks that transport goods and stuff i don't like them we were in an accident when i was younger i think one of those hit my mom's car I was so little honestly I chipped a tooth in the car okay didn't even have a seatbelt on so there was literally an angel watching over me in that time so that kind of triggers trauma and then i don't know why someone wrote this on our apartment website it's like a facebook for the residents in my building and it's so heartbreaking um her family was traveling home it's like three or four of them and they got hit by a semi truck and they all passed away and her reaction was to scream very loud someone in the building was like who's screaming are you okay and she had to say oh my gosh i'm so sorry i didn't know how to react so that terrifies me even when i drive past them freaks me out so i just don't like that type of stuff this is a cop car um i don't like that type of stuff like i don't know it triggers my anxiety in the car so i'm trying not to think about that and Think about the fun things like the sights that we're going to see, driving and having quality time with my dad and catching up after not seeing him since December 2019 and having Leroy in the car. Like it's just there's a lot to be grateful for and a lot to ex to experience and celebrate. But girl, I have anxiety. <laughs> Send help. So that's kind of why I'm not so excited. I don't know. I'm not crying. I'm OK. I promise you guys okay but yeah i've talked on enough and my battery's dying but i'm gonna give you a real-time update so you guys know what's going on um again today is thursday i have one two three four days to pack up everything and as my mom would say you better get the step in <laughs> So that's where I'm gonna leave you guys today. I'm gonna run my errands. I'm gonna take you with me um, I just don't want my battery to die because I didn't bring an extra one But just wanted to have a chat with you guys and thank you for being here with me and Following this little mini journey this fresh chapter in my life and I do feel brand new Throughout the pandemic. It's horrible. I've lost an aunt because of she suffered from pneumonia and then passed from I can't even say it in this video but I don't know like going through the things I went through this past year you guys don't even know the half of it I'm happy that I was able to get myself out of that situation as soon as I cut my hair off you guys don't really know the real reason why I cut my hair but in that video like when I watch that I don't even recognize that person like I feel like it was oh my god why am i getting emotional bitch get it together in that video i was hurting oh my god <laughs> bitch 
I'm emotional guys I am and I'm not sad about it like I am who I am and that's what I love about myself but girl <laughs> I'm okay in that video I was really hurting and like when I was cutting my hair I I wasn't phased by it I'm like just cut it off because I know it was so much dead energy so many bad experiences that I had gone through so much trauma so much mental abuse and you can only take that stuff for so long before you're done so as soon as I cut my hair I literally felt like oh my god I feel lighter I feel happy I feel brand new I feel reborn and at the end of the video you can see how happy I was like still am like I I don't recognize that person in that video I don't recognize myself in 2020 that was like a rough emotional year but it needed to happen because I came out completely brand new new mindset I feel like I glow different I feel like I actually smile in my pictures now I see myself in the mirror and I recognize all these beautiful things and qualities that I possess because that's me that is so unique to me my curly hair my skin tone my beautiful brown eyes my teeth that I used to once hate shout out braces shout out my dr. Najad in Beverly Hills you know like I used to hate so many things about myself until recently I started looking at myself so differently and it's all about that journey that you go through about just life experiences that were dealt that we don't ask for but there's a reason for it so that we can see a different perspective we can learn from it we can grow from it we can do better I don't know why every vlog I upload has to have a life lesson but that's why I'm here you know I'm your sis like I'm here to be there for you when you feel like you have absolutely nobody when I feel like that you know which is why I turned to you guys so I say all this to say that 2021 is a brand new version of myself and I'm excited to go away for a little bit come back with longer hair a bigger butt a full heart like all these things I want to work on my spirituality I want to work on my fitness goals I'll be able to be focused away from just I guess the regular routine that I have going on right now and I really isolated myself in 2020 and even this bit of 2021 and I had to find myself I had to do that I had to literally drop everyone not because I didn't like anyone but because I was so broken I needed to fix myself and I did so here we are <laughs> but I just wanted to say that if you ever feel like nothing's going right you're lost you're sad you're taking 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 all of this mental abuse whatever the case may be it's okay like I promise you're gonna come out brand new and there's only up from there you know what I'm saying so I love you guys I just want to say I love you and this is not a video oh my god poor Kayla no I wanted to be honest and tell you guys like the truth and the reality of life like it's not butterflies and rainbows all the time despite what people show on the internet keep in mind I edit these videos I film what I want to film like I cut out so much stuff like it's ridiculous this video I'm trying not to cut so much out but you know the awkward cries and the blowing of that ain't nobody got time for that okay so <laughs> I just wanted to I don't know just let you know like honestly how I'm doing and how this past year has been for me and um, the fact is I got through it and I came out better better so happy for it so grateful so I only know that there are amazing things to come and the fact is I have so much just like freedom I don't I don't have any ties here right now like it's gonna be exciting I'm excited for this it's just when things take a turn in life most of the time it's for a higher purpose something amazing is on the way or it's already here like this is a big life change for me and I'm excited for it sorry for my dustiness but I'm gonna go because I have things to do and it's already 8 18 um, oh my god the squirrels I haven't seen squirrels like ever I can't wait to get married have kids and actually have a house with babies running around oh my god I love that for me <laughs> it'll come I'm gonna manifest it 
I'm excited. Everything in life that is meant for you will be. And that's why I try not to stress because I know that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I always say the right things in the right moments. I am surrounded by the right people. Good things always come my way. And I'm very thankful and blessed for this life in this current reality. All right, manifesting queen. Check out my manifesting videos. <laughs> All right, I gotta go, bye. Okay, car wash. My baby's looking nice. Ready for the road trip. Oh shit. <laughs>